Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today again, I want to revisit Philippians 1, 13 and 14. And in verse 13, Paul says, everyone knows that I'm incarcerated for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone knows that I'm not here as a common criminal. I'm here because I'm passionate about the person of the Lord Jesus. So how did they come to know? Because Paul was sharing his faith. Even in his incarceration, Paul was sharing his faith. Now, there is a very interesting verse, Acts chapter 28, and I'm going to read for you verses 30 and 31 that talks about Paul's incarceration. For two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. Boldly and without hindrance, he preached the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. What a way to close the book of Acts. So when we say that Paul was incarcerated, he was allowed to stay in his own rented house, but he was always chained to a Roman guard, the Praetorium guard. Now, as Paul proclaimed the gospel in this rented house to anyone who came to him, and uh, there was no hindrance, people could visit him, and he was able to share the gospel with everyone who came to see him. The church in Rome was powerfully impacted by Paul's example. And what I would like to highlight today is the power of example. One person's example can fire up a whole church. So what was the condition of the church in Rome? If I were to use three D words, they were discouraged and demoralized. Their champion, the apostle Paul, was incarcerated and they were discouraged and they were demoralized. And then they were defeated. They were defeated because they were not living in the power of the Holy Spirit. They uh, gave in to the third D word, which is dread. They gave in to fear. And they became silent and they uh, kind of hid themselves in a corner. But when they heard the news that the Apostle Paul in prison was winning people to Christ and that uh, the gospel was spreading, they got all fired up. And uh, this is what I want to encourage you today, that God can use you. Yes. God can use you as a single individual to fire a whole church up for the sake of the gospel, the power of example. When you do what God has called you to do, when you actively share the gospel and you begin to tell the stories of how people are listening to the word of God, the good news of Christ, and how they are showing interest, and there are those who are turning to Christ as a result. People who are timid, people who are backward, people who have even backslidden in the church can be highly motivated by what is happening in your life. Never underestimate the power of example. I uh, recently was uh, walking down the road and at a street uh, intersection, three churches had come together and they were holding placards at a very busy intersection and they were giving out tracks. I was very, very encouraged, motivated by the power of example of these three churches, very boldly, without fear, using a Saturday morning when the maximum number of people would be found on the road, they were sharing the faith, the gospel, 
Now, what was very interesting, the very next day, I saw a single lady with a little book stand and on it were all kinds of literature. And when I looked very closely, she belonged to the Jehovah Witnesses cult. And here was a single lady all by herself standing by a book rack and willing to give out literature to anyone who would want to receive them. So although she belonged to a cult and was spreading wrong teaching, again, look at the example. I was put to shame. I was put to shame. Would I do what she did? Would I do what those three churches were doing? Holding placards and giving out tracts on a Saturday morning? That's the power of example. So in these nice warm months, go out into the streets, the highways, the byways, and share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.